Hi, I'm J.K. Hamilton, and this is your Face Twittable Moment. Having grown up in Brooklyn, New York, and I really, uh, I'm proud of that, believe it or not. <laughs> Having grown up in Brooklyn, New York, I was always mesmerized to go to North Carolina where my auntie and my uncle, and I had a great grandmother there, and they had a farm there. And I can recall going on that farm and watching the chickens walk all over the chicken coop and all over the place, as a matter of fact. I was mesmerized by this because being in New York, the only place you saw a chicken was on a plate, well-dressed and looking good, smelling good and tasting good. But when I finally got an opportunity to see the chicken in its original form, I was mesmerized because it's so different than how it looks when you prepare it to eat. I mean, it's filthy. Chickens are filthy. They're nasty. They're horrible. They eat anything. They peck at everything. And they have a stench that goes beyond this world. Kind of reminds me of how God found many of us. See, a lot of us weren't found on God's plate. We were found in the coop. And in the coop, we were undesirable. People didn't want to deal with us. In the coop, meaning in our place of development, when we were on our way to where we are, when we were being developed, when we were being built, when we were being uh, shaped and formed. But I've learned one thing, that if people were too ashamed to handle you in the coop, then they may not deserve to handle you on the plate. If people can't deal with you when you're at your worst, you might want to think twice before you embrace them as a close friend in your best. God bless you as you move from the coop to the plate. Again, I'm J.K. Hamilton, and this has been your Face Twittable Moment. God bless you today and every day.